Can we use a normal everyday light bulb as a grow light for our plant? First test, 1400 lumens with the diffuser on. 100 right under it, 100. We need 350, 250 minimum. 52, 10 times less than what it really needs. What about the red spot which is just to the left? 32, 10 times less than what it needs. Could we get 250 to 350 from this light bulb? To do that, we're going to have to raise our plants to bring them closer to the light. There's one problem with that. The closer you get to a light bulb, the less the spread of the light is. These guys over here are just not going to be getting enough light. I know that already, but let's give it a go. We're putting that there. We're going to put that there. We're going to put the silver sword over here. We're going to pretend that the tetrasperma is around there and the Adam Sony is just there. And now let's have a look at how much light they're getting. The Adam Sony is getting, this is the most we've got 130, 140 at that height, at that height. But let's have a look and see what this one here is getting at the front. 70, still way too little. And this one up here, 150. We're getting closer, but still not enough. We need 250 minimum and we can't go closer. The next thing we can do is remove the diffuser. Well, let's see what a difference that makes. Without the diffuser, and now we're getting 200, 200, almost 250. Now we're getting closer. Yep. But that is directly under it. What about the poor silver sword? It's getting more, 190. So we're getting closer. You can use a 1400 lumens light bulb, but really for a couple of plants. And you're going to have the plants so close to the light that you're going to be risking damaging the plant. Then, if we really wanted to do this area here properly, we would need one, two, three, four of them. By the time that we spend $15 on each globe, $60. Then we need the attachment to put the globe in and the cable in for each one. Call it $15 each. That's another $60. We're up to $120. And they use 15 watts of electricity. So four of them is 60 watts. And I think to myself, why would you want to do that? When you grow, can grab one of these grow lights from my online shop, one light bulb, that's a tiny little area, 15 watts, $15. One proper grow light covering 60 centimeters across and 30 centimeters wide, using only 26 watts, less than two of the light bulbs, costs $80. And I attach it using simple magnets like this. You want more coverage? Get the one meter long one. It's $100, $110. And do we get the numbers we need? Four, too much, 450. See, 300s. What about the one over here? Oh, it's also getting 300. Oh, what about the one way over here? Oh, it's also getting what it needs. Why? Why would you? I ain't even bother. There's better from a price point of view, from a using electricity point of view, and a money point of view. ProfessorMonstera.com.au is where you can grab them, small or large.